Hello and welcome to the Kerbal Space Program. It is a time of great change for the Kerbal kind. Following the tragic death of Bill Kerman on his return flight from the orbit, millions of young Kerbans went on the streets shouting the slogans for freedom, democracy and equality. Their combined force overthrown the government and forced them into exile. Now Kerbin is being ruled by democratically elected government of people who will do everything to protect Kerbin and its people. The new space program will be established to replace the old one. Unfortunately, that means all the progress was lost and all the development will have to be made anew. But Kerbans don't hesitate. They only look forward, because unfortunately they can turn their head backwards. It's little known physiology fact. And so, we start. Kerbal, Tim, Republic with a new flag showing this little precious green blue planet the home of our young fledgling race and the on their way to the stars our new program will be guided by science and will put the carbon life in highest regard we will do everything possible to make sure that all carbons return home safely and soundly none of them shall ever ever die at least we hope so and so our first flight to provide us the necessary data and necessary information for the future development. Unfortunately, we don't have many parts, nor control surfaces, nor anything to affect our trajectory in any significant way. But it will have to do. United Kerbal Spaceship um, Enterprise Mark 1 And so we're on the launch pad with Jebediah Kerman at the helm of the spaceship Launch in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 This time, we're not going to recklessly head into the space without regards for safety or fuel consumption. We will try to do it scientifically. Namely, the speed of the rocket should not be too fast or too slow. And we're going to try to keep it steady at uh, around 200 meters per second before we leave the thickest part of the carbon or atmosphere. And we're at 200 meters per second. Time to throttle down a little bit. A little bit more. And a bit more. And some more. And now we can start our gravity turn. And actually throttle up a little bit. So 
consists of two thirds of max throttle. And here we can see the apoapsis of our orbit is rising. Unfortunately, this will still be not enough to achieve stable orbit, but it is definitely an improvement over the last flights. And our apoapsis is above the Caribbean atmosphere. Uh, let's quickly time warp somewhere close by to the apoapsis. And we're in space. Let's do some science. The crew report. And the first, well, first in this iteration, spacewalk. Isn't it beautiful? Jebediah agrees. The view is astonishing. Our little blue planet cradle of all curb in kind is so small and precious. He will do everything to protect it. We are descending through the atmosphere back to the carbon. Jebediah is ecstatic. The view of the space and other stars just makes him forget that he is actually fallen through the 50,000 meters down and that he will have to go through the atmosphere and uh, the heating of the spaceship and that he has to actually land all these rockets without losing any stages because unfortunately we still don't have the possibility to do it but we still have some liquid fuel so we will be able to slow our descent a little bit so let's time warp a little bit to approximately 10,000 meters watching the nice re-entry effects and at approximately 5000 we will use our parachute pump and use our rockets to slow our descent down and make sure that nothing bad happens with the rocket when it touches down and when the parachute actually opens. It's 2000. 1.5. And 1000. And let's slow down a little bit more. And a bit more. And the parachute is opened and the rocket is still in one piece. This is a very, very cheerful day for Jebediah. He is returning home a hero. That Time warp a little bit. 100, 50, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, splash down. And Jebediah Kerman is safely returning home. Now we're going to take him on a, uh, on a swim. See what he's thinking about it. 
I don't think the space visit was entirely necessary to get here, was it? Well, Jebediah, you are correct. The spacesuit was entirely unnecessary. I've taken a space uh, sample of water. It appears to dramatically increase the surface humidity of anything it touches. You don't say. And let's return him safely to the capsule and recover the vis vessel. And so, our first mission was a grand success. We gathered 28 signs and we will be able to discover new technology which will allow us to go further and further. Let's see what we got. We got a fuel tank, two fuel tanks, a mystery goo containment unit, something for science, and the decoupler. Very, very important part of the any any space program. So we still have 23 signs left and we can either take additional engine, separatron and s big solid fuel booster, some aerodynamic with radial decouplers or additional small engine, landing legs and additional parachutes. This is a very big decision at this stage. I think these parts are going to benefit out us the most. So, having unlocked all those parts, let us continue on our exploration. Our second rocket will be more advanced than ever before. Well, ever before in this universe. It is going to incorporate stages. Solid fuel boosters, which will be also staged. The biggest advancement ever made by any carbon scientist. Let's put some aerodynamic nose cones. Hopefully it provides some useful qualities to our rocket and some winglets to make it more controllable. Actually, let us add another stage here. This is going to be our orbital stage. It's going to be a small tank with an engine. With an engine. With an engine. And a decoupler. So let's check our staging. These should fire at the same time. Then the solid boosters will be staged. Then when this all burns down, this rocket will fire. And finally the capsule and the parachute. And so UKSS Enterprise Mark II is born. Let's head to the launch pad. A very nice and beautiful day in Kerbin. The sun is in the middle of the sky and the moon is kind of rising on the horizon. I wonder if we can actually take this Kerbin to the moon. I doubt it. But we shall try. And in five, four, three, two, one.
this rocket is far more powerful than the one before it and it surpasses the 200 meters per second without any difficulty fortunately we have to spend some of our fuel to keep the speed but that is not a big problem 200 so let's conserve our reserves and we're at 12,000 meters and we can conduct our gravity burn stop 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 That should be fine. Or not. Let's throttle up. And let's point our rocket a little bit up. Hopefully it will work out. Perhaps is slowly rising. The speed is rising as well. Unfortunately, fuel reserves are not looking great, but we think it will be enough for at least an orbit. So, forty-five, fifty. 60, 65, 70, and we reach the space. Soon we'll have to stage and use only this small fuel tank to circularize our orbit. Mm, this might work out. Might. But remember, the safety of our Kerbals is of utmost priority. We are not going to risk leaving Jebediah flown, stranded in space. No, we cannot achieve the orbit and return from it. We won't. And time warp. And we are at epopsis. And burn. This slowly starts to look like an orbit. And no fuel. Okay. And stage. So let's wait until we're close to the apapsis and do this. This should be sufficient. And ignition. No. It will take us only nine seconds burn. So in one. Orbit achieved. It's a bit wonky. 200,000 on 66,000. So we'll have to fix it. Or, yeah, we have to fix it. Let's wait until, it, until the apapsis and then do small burn just to get our periapsis above the atmosphere. And we are close to the apapsis 
Let's do our burn. Done. We don't want to spacewalk on the dark side of the Kerbin. We will wait. And look at this. The sunrise and our spaceship. This is where Jebediah is going to perform his another spacewalk. He seems to develop the taste for those. As his face shows pure joy and happiness. Jebediah, although you are happy, you have to get back into the spaceship. Back into the spaceship. Spaceship. Grab. Grab. Come on, Jebediah. You don't want to be stranded here forever and destroy our space program before it even began. It's harder than it looks. Much harder. Finally. Jebediah! Hold! Grab and hold! Come on! Do it, lad! You can do it! You can do it! Come on! Grab! Come on! Come on, Jebediah f And finally, after many tries, Jebediah is back in the capsule. Let's see what he thinks. It seems we are very much in space right now. The sky seems to be mostly below us. Hmm. That's an interesting observation. And let's let's wait until apopsis for our deorbit burn, which will bring Jebediah safely to one of the oceans, or maybe on a continent. We'll find out. Apopsis right. in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's turn retrograde and perform our burn. Should be enough to get around this altitude. Everything else will be made done by the atmosphere of our home world. We can even stage at this point, leaving this tiny fuel tank and rocket behind, and let's time warp. 90, 80, 70, and we are safely in the atmosphere. Let's time warp some more. Orbit is slowly descending. Our apopsis is falling, and we should land safely somewhere near the desert, I think. Cool part. Ah, it's same. Okay, and we are at 40 kilometers. 
37, 36, 35, 34, 33. The re entry effects start now. Probably land somewhere on the grasslands. Ten thousand meters, eight thousand meters, seven thousand, and at five thousand, we're going to use our parachute. Six thousand, speed is falling, everything seems to go according to the plan. Parachute. Look at this happy face. Look at it. He is so happy. He just been to the orbit and seen all of the Kerbal. And now he's returning home. And the parachute is safely deployed. And we can time warp until we hit the ground or safely land, more proper term. And this should be them. We are home. Jebedi, go out. Show this happy face. That happy face. Let's put a flag here. And let's call it first orbital light. Happy to be home again. Okay, let's take a sample and let's generate a report. And now Jebediah returns to the space, to this capsule to be recovered by the authorities. And we gathered all 36 signs from this flight. Let's see what we can unlock now. This requires 15 and this requires 20, so we can take both of these parts. Unfortunately, we can take neither of those because they require much more science than we currently possess. But addition of those parts should make our program more successful. So at this point, we're going to end our first episode of the new Kerbal Space Program. Thank you all for watching. Remember to leave your comments, likes or dislikes.